What's up, everybody? Welcome or welcome back to Light Source Engraving, and I'm your host, Patrick, as usual. And man, today I received, well, received a few days ago, some awesome leatherette from Lone Star Adhesive. This is their premium leatherette, carbon fiber silver. Check that out. It's awesome. Also, carbon fiber black. And they're blue and silver. So this is blue and has the silver silver foil underneath. And what I'm going to attempt to do is engrave the si blue and silver with three colors. So it'll be blue, silver, and black. And then we'll do the carbon fiber black and the carbon fiber silver. Now I did a test on carbon fiber black and here it is. As you can see, that turned out great. And I'll be running these on the Lasermatic 30 watt diode. So I'll show you settings for a 30 watt diode. Example of the black and carbon fiber. So those are both out of the black that engrave silver. So those look pretty nice. All right, let's just jump into Lightburn and I'll show you the settings that I'm going to work with for the blue and silver first. Then we'll go into the black and silver and engrave some patches, cut them out and see how they press on the hats. All right, let's jump into Lightburn. So here I have a representation of the patch that is going to be cut out of the blue and silver. So I have the red line for the cut. And then we have this, the layer number eight, which is going to engrave silver. And then layer zero, which is black, which will engrave black. So let me just go ahead and show you the settings. So this will be with the 30 watt diode laser to get the silver. We're going to be running the speed of 16,000 power of 25 with air 0 0.082 line interval at zero degrees. And then to get the black, we're basically just going to engrave through the silver and into the black background speed of 16,000 power of 40 line interval 0.082 percent and as you can see i do run with overfill or overscan turned on so if we were to line this up next to the edge of our workspace then preview it we're going to see that it is actually going outside of the workspace. So when you have over scanning on, be sure and adjust your graphic back from the side. Then preview it so that you're not hitting up against this edge of your workspace. Otherwise, you'll run into an issue and have to restart it and adjust your graphic. So at that spacing, we are safe and we could run this. And then the cut is just at 495%. I think I can go faster than that, but I'll just leave it at 400 for this demonstration. All right, for the next demonstration, what I want to show you 
is how I'm going to handle the two different shades. So on the black and silver, the black that engraves silver, we're going to want the inverse of this. So we want the eagle and the eagle's wings to come out silver, eagle's face. We want it to be lighter. So we're going to need to do an offset of this. It'll make sense here in a minute. I'm going to copy this and then paste it above. So we're going to have this graphic here that we're going to just do straight up on the silver that engraves black. And on the black that engraves silver, we want the basically the inverse of it. So what I'm going to do is take this graphic and do an offset. And I want as small of an offset as I can get while keeping everything contained within the graphic. So let's try 0 0.5. It looks like 0 0.5 will work. And we want to select the resulting objects. So let me just hit OK. And then we're going to move this out of the way. Then ungroup it. And I only want the outer outline. Then we can grab all this junk and delete it. And the outer outline does look centered. So now everything that is shaded black will actually turn silver. What I'm going to do is put this into wireframe smooth mode. So I can go and select all of this stuff and then group that. Then we can select everything and group it again. Then we can go back to window, wireframe, build smooth. So this will be the graphic that goes on our black that engraves silver. And then this will go on our silver that engraves black. Then we can group these together. And those will be our two different graphics. So I don't want to get those confused. So we'll do one and then do the other. So we have our Lone Star Leatherette. Black carbon fiber that engraves silver. So to engrave that, I'm using a speed of 20,000, power of 20, line interval 0 0.085. And then for our silver carbon fiber that engraves black, I'm going to speed of 20,000, power of 40. 0 0.085 on the line interval and again 2.5 percent overscan so let's run these two and see how they turn out
Okay, now I'm going to give you my recommended method for cleaning these patches. The blue has a little bit of a blue hue still left on it. So the best thing to do is spray it with some Dawn Power Wash. I'm just using this free and clear Dawn Power Wash. Then for the microfiber, instead of the short side, I use the side with the long pilling. So we use this side. Whoops. Then all we have to do is I just put my finger on a blue spot and then just lightly wipe. we'll see that blue start to come off. You can see it's going there. So there's the difference. And it really isn't scrubbing, it's more just wiping and let the power wash do the work. And just a quick rub around the edge. You might have to flip your microfiber around a little bit. And then we have a nice clean patch. And for these, you can see it looks a little hazy. Whoops. And all I do with these, just a quick wipe with the microfiber. I don't even need the Dawn Power Wash on these. Clear away that soot. Then you've got a really nice, super detailed patch. And same with this. Just clear away the soot. That silver really doesn't need too much. So we have one of these and negative and one of the positive just because i wanted to show you the amount of detail so there's the negative i'll check out this one super detail out of the combination of the laser matic and this lone star premium leatherette it is good stuff and it was ordered with the adhesive on the back. So it has a durable adhesive. So now we can go to the hat press and make some hats. All right, you'll notice I do use a microfiber folded into thirds in order to fill out the hat to minimize wrinkles. We'll take the paper off of the adhesive and expose that durable adhesive our recommended settings of 280 degrees and 50 seconds. For a single patent press. And folks, you just got to love this leatherette from Lone Star. It is the best looking leatherette coming out of a heat press I've ever saw. There's one done. So we want to number two. The challenge to get this lined up with the camera right in front. Uh, he tapes like was thin shit is like thin stuff is like working with ribbon. It's a little frustrating. All right, there we are. We look to be square and straight.
All right, looks like we have hat number two finished. And again, that looks spectacular. Hat number three is for a friend who owns this travel agency business. And he doesn't know I'm making him this, so this will be a nice surprise, I hope. And the other two hats were black blanks I got from Amazon. This is actually Richardson. We're now back with all the hats pressed. Let me give you the overview in this camera. Coming closer. So the silver that engraves black looks great. Now let me show you the one that we did the offset. So the black that engraves silver. We basically did the inverse of what we did on the other hat. And they both came out looking very nice. Now I want to show you this blue hat with the millennial travel and the blue that we were able to engrave silver and black. One thing I want to point out on this blue and silver, when you engrave it black, before you press it, make sure that you put some parchment paper, paper over the patch. Because what I've found is by going into those deeper layers, it can loosen the bond of that silver. So make sure you put parchment paper over your patch before you press it. That way it doesn't stick to your platen. But I found that that works and turns out nice. So now we have three different shades on this one. Then I also did a larger version of the Millennial Travel to go on a backpack. So we'll press that on the backpack shortly. And then the hat that I'm wearing, I also did the inverse not the inverse. I did the same logo on the silver that engraves black. So there you can see the two different looks. But this Lone Star Premium Carbon Fiber Leatherette is awesome. It's thick. It feels like it's high quality. It is high quality. I recommend picking some up and making some patches with it. And let me know if you do. There is an affiliate link for Lone Star in the description, which helps the channel. So check that out. It'll be right near the top of the description. And that is all I have for today. Thank you, patrons and channel members for your support and helping me purchase the stuff for testing. I greatly appreciate it. And that is all I have for today. And most importantly, everyone, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.